So you think about an annuity. <laughs> Hold on a second. Wait, there's fixed, there's variable, there's index, there's, there's lots of choices. Hi, I'm Dave Harder. I'm with Epic Financial Strategies. And what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the differences between fixed annuities, variable annuities, and indexed annuities. So the annuity market has become a very, very crowded space, right? There's all kinds of choices that are out there. So what I just want to do today is try to simplify it a little bit for you so that you can understand how to make informed decisions. Let's first talk about fixed annuities for a moment. Fixed annuities come in three different shapes. They are either fixed for a period of time and pay a fixed income. They are a single premium deposit for immediate income or what we call SPIAs, single premium income annuities. And then there are deferred income annuities or what we refer to as DIAs, where we take a single premium deposit for an income that's going to be paying in the future, almost like a future pension for ourselves. Traditional fixed annuities operate a little bit like CDs, where they take a single deposit and provide a fixed income distribution for a period of time. And in low interest rate environments, if you're looking for greater income or greater yield on your money than what savings accounts are providing, a fixed annuity can be a great alternative. The older that I get, the less that my life expectancy is. We all know that. And so the older that I get, the greater the income off a single premium income annuity becomes. Single premium income annuities are built off of two things. They're built off of the law of large numbers of life expectancies, and they're also built upon interest rates. And in this interest rate environment, we can't have huge expectations for what those incomes will look like. However, the older that we get, the less our life expectancy becomes, and so those single premium income annuities can provide a monster distribution rate for you in the future. One of the big challenges in the world that we operate in today is the lack of pensions. Right? We have a self-reliance for retirement income distribution, and so if we're looking for a way, then we can take a sum of money, whether we inherited it or we saved it, that we want to sock away for a future pension, a deferred income annuity is a great alternative. Deferred income annuity takes a sum of money, deposit, deposits it to an insurance company for an income distribution that is going to be turned on in the future vis-a-vis -a, -vis a pension style program. Variable annuities are completely different. Variable annuities are built for individuals who have a risk appetite. And most variable annuities can receive ongoing deposits and ongoing contributions. But unlike the fixed annuities or the single premium income annuities I was referring to before, the money inside of variable annuities grows completely differently. The money inside variable annuities is invested in something called accumulation units, which are very similar to mutual funds, traditional mutual funds, and they come in different shapes and sizes. They have different expense ratios. They have different internal charges. There's all kinds of considerations that have to be taken into account when we're thinking about buying a variable annuity. If you have a long-term time horizon, have a risk appetite, or what I mean by that is the willingness to take on a little bit greater risk for greater uh, potential return on the monies inside of the, uh, inside of the account, a variable annuity can be a great alternative. Variable annuities require asset allocation strategy. And so one of the things that's very, very important is to understand that they can't necessarily just be stagnant things. They have to be looked at consistently to make sure that the investment accumulation units inside of the account are uh, allocated appropriately based upon market conditions. Another great feature of variable annuities is potentially income riders and or death benefit riders. Different contracts have different features attached to them. So in addition to greater accumulation opportunity over multiple market cycles, I also have the opportunity to create guaranteed incomes for myself in the future or a spouse in the future or a loved one in the future. I also have the opportunity to create a no underwriting based death benefit potentially. So fixed annuities and variable annuities are two completely different vehicles, and neither one of those might be the right one for you. Or if you're having a hard time making that determination, you might want to take a look at an indexed annuity. An indexed annuity creates a blend between the fixed 
and the variable, and here's how that works. An indexed annuity is a fixed annuity by nature, but has key specific features to it that are different than a fixed annuity. The money that's deposited into an indexed annuity has growth rates with a floor and a cap. The monies that are deposited into indexed annuities are benchmarked against specific indexes. And there's, there's, ver there's a few different indexes that you can benchmark them towards, and there's different time periods for which you can benchmark towards those indexes. On a point-to-point -point basis, if that index provides a specific return between the floor, which, the floor accumulation rate, which is the fixed component, and the cap accumulation rate, which is the variable component, or somewhere in between the middle, that's the depositing and that's the crediting that you get. So if you're looking for a little bit greater return than what a fixed annuity can provide, but you're not willing to take on the massive ups and downs of the market that a variable annuity can introduce, the middle ground of investing is an indexed annuity. Another key feature of indexed annuities, like the others, is that there are benefit riders that are attached to them, where they can provide guaranteed lifetime income streams similar to other types of annuities that we talked about before. So holy cow, it's a crowded space. We got all types of fixed annuities, we have all types of variable annuities, and we have all types of indexed annuities. Lots of choices, your mind is probably exploding. Here's the good news. Click the link below. A member of my team will reach out to you and just have a conversation with you about which of those in, that, in, in the space of annuities in general is gonna be a good fit based upon your comfort level.